thought I would hop on here and share my process. I am doing a large quantity of cookies today. So I am using my Bosch Universal Plus mixer. Um, first of all, I love that the bowl detaches so I can um, weigh my ingredients right in the bowl. Um, uh, what works for me? I am going to go ahead and start off with what is called the dough hook. And I have the dough hook extender that's attached on here. Um, and I will just start that with that from the get-go. Some people like to use the cake or cookie paddles to cream their butter and sugar together first. I'm lazy and the dough hook works for me because I use um, room temperature or softened butter. So um, I have found that it's best if I do my butter, sugar, and egg mixture all at the same time. I also love the lid. It's kind of a game changer. I'm messy when I bake, so this helps contain my mess in the bowl. Um, so again, I'm starting off with the butter, the sugar, and the egg mixture. Um, I have found that if I do the butter and sugar first, then add the egg mixture in next, because of kind of like the nonstick bowl, it tends to swish around. But if I add everything all at the same time and just go, um, it, it tends to blend a little bit better together. think I screwed my lid on. <laughs> All right, I don't normally take the lid off and this could be a disaster, but I wanted to show you that it is pulling away from the sides of the bowl. I mean, I had that baby packed full. This is a quadruple batch, um, but I'll see. So you can see it's all pulling away from the bowl, um, which lets me know it's all done. Um, a couple things, so I do, I do measure my um, flour out in portions. So I did um, half of it or a double batch. I added the first bag of flour in, mixed it up, and then I added the second bag in. Um, and there you go, we're ready to work. And I love that I can detach the bowl and move it over to my station um, to roll out everything. And then I can keep the lid on it um, when I'm not working just to keep it fresh, so. And then one more thing, I have had the best success I've figured out my flour amounts when I have everything all at once or in like two giant batches. I have found that it does not work well when I kind of just, you know, put a little bit of flour in, mix it up, put a little bit of flour in, mix it up. Because what I find that happens is that when I get to the end and I'm needing more flour, but it's just the last little bit amount because the bowl is kind of non-stick, it does cause some swishing. Um, so I have kind of just over trial and error, figured out how much flour I need, and I just dump that full amount in at the same, same time. So if you have any questions about that, just let me know.